All right, what's up, guys? So we're back with another one. Another, this is number 12 uh, version of the Guilty Gear Strive Developer's Backyard. And if you've been following along, for I appreciate the communication. You know, I'm really happy when the devs directly speak with the community. But as a fan, as, you know, number one Guilty Gear Strive, Shill, the quad of these backyards have kind of been going down a little bit, a lot. You know, the early on, we used to get a lot of, like, really, like, good insight and, like, like, big answers and stuff but recently it's gotten like less it feels like they're kind of just turning it out with nothing to say come on man give me give me some stuff to talk about next time but anyway like always quick overview we'll break it down because i know you guys on youtube don't know how to read but uh you like this stuff you like guilty gear you like developers backyard hit the subscribe button especially if you like the color green right that was the, that was the last question from last week. anyway here we go i uh, say so again very very familiar uh one thing to note right here though is instead of katano so it's always been katano who's done, who's led these. Now it's Miyauchi, who's the, the producer who took over. I, I translated an article. There's another video on this channel talking about it, but if you haven't read that article, it's quite good. You know, it goes into Miyauchi's background and everything and their plans, their overview. So of course they're gonna introduce the new character, Sin. Nothing really, like there's no insight. There's no like thought process, just like an overview. There's some weird stuff though. What, what, what's this mean? His value, the last one, it cannot be mentioned. I was trying to figure it out with the, with the stream. I don't know. YouTube monsters, if you know, figure it out. Another thing to point out, and he's a manly. Look at him. He's five foot eleven, one hundred sixty pounds. He eat. You see, he eats like a, a whole like dinosaur steak in one bite. He's that small. I'm six foot ten, man. I clear sin. It's no problem. Beat him up. But yeah, just goes over a story again. How Soul trained him. The reason why he's stupid is because Soul trained him. It's kind of funny though. The deep lore. If you don't know, Soul like oh Soul's stupid. He just punches every. Soul's a genius. In the lore, he's a he's a goddamn genius. He's like a scientist, genius level IQ. He built the gears and everything, but like that's all like out the window. He's just like punch man, innocent young man. All right, again, more of his, his story here, just explaining everything. Nothing to really say. Uh, I think the one cool point though that they talk about here at the end, which I, is kind of nice, because you know when a dev says it themselves, is pretty cool. So the last point they bring up, he also has access to extremely powerful O drive moves. So it's cool that the devs are like, yeah, we intended him to be that strong. This is both of his supers. Are ridiculous ride the lightning or corner to corner wall break which is amazing and then tyrant barrel nobody can really do it yet but the clean hit on that second part apparently it's one frame so it's really tight but when people can do that nine percent of the time his damage output is gonna be ridiculous so next up is crossplay they talk about crossplay this is a big feature that's coming they don't have much feedback or anything to say but there is finally i guess this is the big dub of this backyard is we finally got some dates. So mid-December, I guess that's when all the balance patch is gonna come out. So here's a new roadmap they share. You know, Bridget came out in August, Sin just came out in November. So next month, maybe two weeks or so from, from right now, the crossplay update, the network mode update, which they're gonna talk about right after this, and the balance patch. So they don't mention anything about the balance patch, but I think this is what the community is most excited for. You know, Sin is great for the influencers and the casual fans, but I think the people that play the game are more interested in this balance patch. So what's it gonna be? Unfortunately, no details. Let's talk about it in a different video. But we also have this. So next March, uh, new character, and then next May. So March, by the way, is also, it's after Arc Revo. So Arc Revo's in uh, February, but this is Evo Japan. So Evo Japan is at the end of March. I wonder, you know, if it's early March, we'll see them in Evo. But if it's if it's like in the, the middle or the latter half, they'll be banned, I think. So I hope it's early because I always I love it when new characters mess up tournaments. Here. But there you go. So we finally got some dates right here. Now talking about the network update. So this is the big, you know, there's always like one really great piece of information. This is it. This is the big news, the big update right here. You can select your room. Who cares about that crap? It's this one right here. Look. <gasps> this is the best thing that's happened to Guilty Gear Strive since release date. New option to turn off rating update sequence. Thank God. It's literally the worst part of the damn game. So if you know what it is, you know, when that little butler, that little butler talks to you and he's like, you can challenge this. You got to walk up the stairs. Or it's like, oh, sorry. Like, you got to walk down the stairs. Like, hey, shut the hell up, man. That is frame one, frame one turning that off. So that's it. No big updates. Now we go to the Q&A. So the Q&A, a little bit better than last time. I like this first question a lot. I think it's a great idea. So they say, hi, I feel the amazing music is part of Guilty Gear DNA. Is it possible to display the title of the song playing in fights? I think that's great, you know? At the bottom, where it just says like, oh, this is that, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so Katano just says, you know, it's a great idea. There's a lot of things you want to do, like adding the random. So random setting is very important as well. So they're aware of that and they want to change it. So good stuff. Now this next one here is kind of funny. This kind of made me laugh a little bit. So it says, do characters fighting style make a major impact on how lucky they make the rock? Characters like, like Abba and Nagoriki share similar mechanics in terms of blood management. What? Can I read that again? Characters like Abba and Nagoriki share similar mechanics in terms of blood management. 
This is the meme. This is the meme, you know, Guild Gear player is excited to play Guild Gear for the first time. They're nothing alike at all. Literally, they have nothing in common at all, but that's the question from this person. The same goes for cats like Happy Chaos and Elfo Valentine. Bro, they have guns that you can't be like, oh, they both got a gun. That's it. They play completely different. They, they, they don't know. But yeah, Katana just kind of says, look, it, it doesn't matter. Anybody can get added. And like, look, you know, Na Nago and Biken both have Katana. So it doesn't stop us there. But come on. But that's it for Q&A. Nothing too, nothing too uh, big right here. Then they just go over all of the tournaments again. If you've been following along on the channel, we covered most, most of these. No need to really talk about it. But this little summary at the end is okay. Right. So these are all the players that qualified. We got Umi Show. One Evo, uh, Skill and Friends, Gobo in Japan, Nubenheimer, one CEO Taka, right? Zondo and Mochi right there. So that's what, six? Japan, uh, Arc Rebel is this weekend. By the way, give me a second. It's this weekend on Twitch.tv Anime Illuminati. That's the official English stream. So check it out if you got time. So that's this weekend. And then the last one, I think, is Frosty Faustings next February or January, February. I don't know. And then the arc finals are happening so we're almost we're almost at the end there oh there it is right there so uh yeah frosty falcing february 3rd there but yeah that's it that is it like i said man nothing really i i don't know i i understand i know they're busy you know i know they're busy you making a game you got to do all this other stuff they're doing a lot of interviews i wish they had a little just a little bit more you know if, if they're gonna take the time to put this this developer's backyard out just a little bit more just gives a little tiny tiny bit more insight even like a cool fact or anything like oh here's some sin concept art just anything any sort of like new information or like some sort of tidbit to show that this is like something that they're actually like they're, they're caring about it's not something they're just kind of churning out because they, they feel like they have to do it kind of thing but uh yeah that's it for this one who knows man hopefully the next one is a bit better uh it's good stuff though the the big balance patch is coming i don't want to talk about this video check the other video let's talk about the balance patch what we want to see and uh yeah keep keep enjoying strive this game has had it, it's it's fair share of, of naysayers but still going strong and it's still got a, a pretty bright future ahead so i'm looking forward to it but yeah like this stuff you like whatever people asking about abba and nagoriyuki being similar hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one peace